Hello Unigame fans, quite a number of known quantities for this upcoming week, but I do have a couple of mini metroidvanias that may be of interest as well. For some free pickups, do make a note to get both Total War Troy and Remnants from the Ashes from the Epic Store, but we shall begin with the adorable Boomerang Fool. This local multiplayer party game has you playing as a variety of cute food items from a slice of bread, banana, watermelon and more, wielding deadly boomerangs to take out your opponents. Looks like a well-made, extremely cute one of these and should be fun with friends. Perhaps the title that I'm most excited about this week is the gorgeous Eastern Exorcist, a side-scrolling action platformer RPG which is inspired by Eastern myths and legends. Much like how we have become introduced to Egyptian and Norse myths over the years, I believe Eastern influences will become much more prevalent, with the action and art style in this looking fantastic as well. Seems like there may be some Souls-like inspiration, but bear in mind that it releases in early access, although not much information is available on how much of a game there is here. This is Arthropoda Philosophica a remarkable and shy little creature. These insects carry out their duties with great care and devotion. The little creatures prefer to live in dark and humid habitats, but they still like to keep an eye on us. They are indeed a curious breed. Here is one individual hiding in a drawer, yet still peeking out at us. One curious title this week is Metamorphosis, an adventure game that has you exploring the lives and society of insects. They live in surprisingly complex societies. Each member is given a precise occupation which he will carry out for life. Although these insects are very common, many questions remain concerning their societal structure and the purpose of their actions. We still don't know precisely what drives these individuals. Play as a man transformed into a bug who sets out on an adventure to uncover the mystery of his transformation. Some claim that their existence is necessary for our survival. Regardless, we must be careful not to hurt the little creatures. Let's not forget that any of us could one day wake up as one of them. Your stomach is a beacon. Your mouth, the light that guides. Your mission, follow your gut. Let me, the eating guru, show you how. The roguelite platformer Bite the Bullet releases this week where you can eat your enemies and gain their powers. It has some impressive pixel art and that old school aesthetic, although the bloom seems to be turned way up in the trailer, making it a little difficult to see.
However, as a roguelite platformer with its own unique hook, I'm certainly down to check it out. The first mini Metroidvania is the one bit Enter Digiton, where you are armed with only a shield and have to take down the four demon lords. There are a variety of masks to equip, as well as your Metroidvania traversal abilities and it looks like a simple, if well-made, one of these. Just a quick note, if you are new here and enjoyed the video so far, be sure to subscribe and check out the Discord channel while you are at it. Here's to more indie gaming coverage, so back to the video. I love to raid! You cannot escape the storm! Pop-Up Dungeon is an interesting toy box since it is inspired by classic tabletop RPGs and is a turn-based roguelike in every sense of the word. My trusty stapler. <laughs> However, on top of 25 built-in campaigns, it also gives you the tools to make stories and scenarios of your own adding a little bit of that maker flair to the genre. Look out. Another no-brainer, Life finds a way with the dinosaur puck tycoon game Puckasaurus, which releases out of early access. But even before doing so, it already sits at an overwhelmingly positive rating, so what are you waiting for? Exhibit design is central here, since materials used ecology of plants, elevation, humidity, privacy and so on will factor into the happiness of your dinos and the success of your park. Sell food, care for your visitors, manage employees and most importantly, find ways to keep things under control should your dinos break out. excellent tycoon game and one for fans of the genre. One fun if frustrating looking game is Kill It With Fire where, as advertised, you must use everything at your disposal in order to rid your house of bugs. If you had this experience in real life, swatting at flies with a newspaper for example, you will probably see the humour in this game, cruelty notwithstanding, but it has previewed well in the demo versions so far. One title which I have my eye on is Prehistoric Dude, a simple looking mini metroidvania starring a caveman which looks well put together. I 
enjoy the vibrancy of the pixel art and the colors used, where your character is obsessed with Pam and goes on an adventure to get his lunch back. The action roguelite Dreamscaper releases in early access and having covered it multiple times on the channel in previews, I'm excited for the wider audience to get into this. Beautiful dreamy visuals, nailing the theme, and as with most roguelites, I'm certainly down taking the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, Check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.